Hey guys, how's it going? RGJ Runner here, and we're back with. And we're back with part two. Okay, don't interrupt me. Freaking sound effects. Okay, last time we left off, we found out where the inner sanctum was. We have to go in there and kill, like, uh, kill Alexander. And but before we can do that, we have to find a way in. Obviously, because our way is blocked by some slime, so we're going to have to burn our way through it, cut our way through it, do something to to get our way through it. And that's the holy all of it, really. So uh, I assume we're going to. Oh, laboratory. Okay, so uh, so laboratory. I assume we're going to make some deadly concoction that'll I don't know blow it up, maybe. The things are going to get a bit explosive. Maybe. This place already looks scary. That's not that scary. Just a dark basement then when you quit freaking the actual fuck out, man. That has nothing. It's just rocks excreting gas. What's getting closer? Somehow. Okay. Fine. Now, okay, we're in the laboratory now, officially. And this is our lab setup. You can barely make out anything, so I guess I have to light a few candles. Or torches. Whoa. So, there should be more Kubrat. Let me see. Let me see. And one part aqua force. Okay, um, Cooperite and Aqua Fortis, is that what we need? Are we using these two to make some sort of chemical or something? Alright, early alchemy experiment. This is my third attempt to abuse. <coughs> what the hell to abuse? This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. The formal compounds lack the pot potency I need, but since I'm close, chamomile and orpiment are given in the red and the cooper binds them well. No, copyright. Copyright binds them well. This is how I'll attempt aqua regia instead of aqua fortis in hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuc unsuccessful. The solution is highly as acid. Acidic. It should be acidic. That's bad grammar. The solution is highly acidic and proves impractical to put it to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and it should be handled with greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic, bleh, alchemic solution to my predicament. Okay, so that's alchemy gone wrong. If you're Edward and Alphonse, I hear the good at that. That's a full Metal Alchemist reference if you didn't know. And someone is above on the top floor now. Great, I'm being hunted by some mad murderer. Lovely. What, what is this? One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I am one day. As long as I am able to think of you and long life together, and you, uh, as long as I am able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. The lust for power will have restraint, where I only crave fair judgment, judgment and safe return. Oh, that's cute. Even though I have no idea what that is to do with the story here. Just ramblings of a mad old man. I don't know what. Nothing behind here. Wait, 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 what, what? Oh, I can only... I can hold it, but I can't pick it up. Useless. Another tinder box. Something above me. Oh, 
Okay. What else? The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes that will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to, to the wine cellar. Hmm. I'm guessing the ingredients we need are the chemical components that we need to make the Daisy D, 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 TNT, whatever we're going to use. In the wine cellar. Quite child, quite. Singer. And there we go, dashing my own hopes. Well, that was somewhat fruitless. A fragment taste of rose liquor needs a mouth, Turkish delights, he thought. Just like the ones at the consulate in Constantinople. Okay, I'm not sure what's up with that piece of dialogue. Piece of text. I don't really get it. This game confuses me, but so far it's somewhat enjoyable and it's locked and will not open without a key. Okay, to the unexplored upstairs area. That door's boarded up. Wait, hold on. Can we pull this apart? No, we can't pull the boards off now. Damn. Really hoping I can go into that room. Looks so interesting too. Can I go down here? No, that's boarded up too. So we're going in through to the archives. Really, I just want to encounter some action. Whoa, more dialogue. He fell into the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in, in, uh, in his stomach. Hansel remained hidden in the shifted room fast enough. It doesn't matter. Excuse me. What was what on earth was that? Some like <sighs> someone dying. Ooh, no. Okay. Sixteenth of May, eighteen thirty nine. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later that evening, we uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand-covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. I'm, I'm sorry, what, what now? Sorry, I wasn't really paying attention to, to that. Okay, something about London and the British Museum and cave exploring and whatnot. Deadly curses, voodoo dolls. I only picked up in the last bit. I sort of uh, drifted out of reality there for a second. Close that freaking. Damn it, there's not enough room for my mouse here. I have a really, really small setup. That click you probably heard was the mouse hitting against the microphone. Okay. Hey, Fear, how's it going? Sorry, I do not talk to inanimate objects. I'm not mad like PewDiePie. He be but mad, I say. Again, that's what gives him his characteristic. He's 
characteristics, his charisma, wh whatever, but I'm not PewDiePie, so I'm not going to talk to inanimate objects. Oh, more dialogue. No, not dialogue, just reading. I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brandenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brandenburg, of Brandenburg is, re is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break the seal. Willem, House of Gurick. Gurick? Gurick? I'm just going to say Gurick. Okay, sounds like an architect. So, did he hire an ar architect to build this place? Design this place? Of course he did. I doubt Sir Alex of uh, 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 Brandenburg, Brandenburg didn't have the brains to build this himself. Did I just hear something grown? What's that? Just a door. A weird squeaking sound. Yeah, you probably just the door. That's yes, it, it was the door. So I keep telling myself. There's plenty of these here thunder boxes. Well, this guy was definitely prepared for um, a power outage. Oh, wait, no, it wasn't electricity back in these days. And if it was very lucky. 17th of May. 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the 4th century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. Okay, so... Um... Yes, we got ourselves trapped in a cave. Guys, we're clueless idiots and we don't know how to move these structures of mass proportions. For a second there, I thought I was going to run into a monster. Okay, quit breaking out. Crap, I forgot the name of the character I'm playing as. Um, um, Never mind. Jeez! That was creepy. Alexander's name to God we have to kill. Fuck, I feel stupid. Ah, uh, let just pace back and forth until I remember. Or I could go into my journal and, f and figure out my name from there. Okay, no, it's... Oh, Daniel. Yeah, yeah, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. Slight headache. Yeah, 
characters uh, that he can, he can take the best of all the of all. I'm going to run into something horrible here. Um, oh, Kidoki. Uh. Okay, all right. We don't have to go in there. That's nice. Don't like the thought of going in there. Excuse me? Baking soda, what did you say? I... Um... Is there, is there something up there? No? no. I definitely heard something. It doesn't sound too friendly. Oh, nothing chases me through here. Alrighty then. We just be both mad. We're here, he thinks. Hey, can we do anything with this piano? Maybe play Moonlight Sonata? No, 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 no. Didn't think so. Because it's not in our jo job description. Okay, maps, maps, and more maps. Okay, so we're going to have to walk through this night. Hmm. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. I reached out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away, unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and in possible geometry. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted, the voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety, and grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most peculiar relic. Okay, so after getting stuck in the cave, we found a uh, glowing stone and that's what happened. The whole structure collapsed. Oh well. There's bound to be a way out somewhere. If I look hard enough. First, I'm gonna look through here. Pick up more tinder boxes and more crap. Maybe. Maybe more oil for my lantern. I'll close out that door just to keep out the monsters. Much of the castle is old and hasn't been tended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. So, Alexander was aware of the shadow as well. Right. And I was just... Daniel let 
that knew about the shadow of Dun Tunnels and then you're going mad or something. Now how do we get out of here? Our job but not breakable by hand, well we'll see about that. I knew it. See, we've got superhuman strength here. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. making a sound. Okay, so Alexander was talking about a locking mechanism, and so I'm, I'm guessing the locking mechanism has something to do with books, and I find so many of these and pull them out like so. Before the timer goes down. Shit. And I can see deadly spot. Place, fancy bookcase, fancy everything. Fancy, fancy, fancy. We're just full of fancy right here. Holy shit. It's pretty shit, man. Fuck. Not sure it was safe to come out. scary. Did you not just come in through here? Okay. Well, at least if he comes out through that door, I'll be able to hear him. And run like hell. What am I supposed to do? But he was definitely there. What the fuck? No. Curtis, I'm making a break for it. Move, you motherfucker! Thank you for his turn, but he fell from the camel's back. He felt the wind jelly sweep across his face and these dry, crusted lips. Ouch. Move your fast, Daniel. Okay. Well, we definitely encountered the beast that time. We might have saw him, but he was definitely there. Whew. Okay. So in the next part I shall go to the wine cellar and get the chemicals that we have to use to make an explosive I, I think, or an acid maybe, probably the, prior, uh, probably the latter, more than, more than likely the prior. Right, okay so I'll see you guys in part 2, or part 3, this is part 2, okay.
I'll see you guys in part three. See ya.